Werewolves Within is about a forest ranger who comes to this town to um, oversee a possible pipeline installation. This is a very, very small town of, of like, it feels like 10 people. I think they say the population in the film, but they straight up only have like 10 people in this town. Um, and when he gets there, he meets the very quirky town that he has been assigned to. And, you know, he himself feels like he's this emasculated loser and he's trying to find a way to assert himself in his personal life. Um, he's dealing with a separation and, you know, he, he meets this, this male girl in town who's super cute. And, of course, he immediately has a crush and, and uh, feels like he, you know, has no chance with her because he's kind of a pussy in the movie. Um, but anyways, of course, people start dying or disappearing. Uh, bodies turn up and they're trying to figure out what it is. And somebody screams, werewolf. And so throughout the film, you're trying to figure out, you know, who the killer is. And if this is even a werewolf, which, you know, um, they've done the whole, is it a werewolf? Is it not a werewolf? when the movie kind of suggests that it's going to be a werewolf and you just don't know what to bank on anymore. I've seen a few films like that. Most recently would be The Wolf of Snow Hollow, which I personally loved. I thought that was fucking fantastic and hilarious and wonderful. Um, but throughout, you're like, is this a werewolf or is it not a werewolf? And it's not until the end you find out if it is or not. Um, and that's very similar within this film as well. And I say that just so you guys don't go into a movie called Werewolves Within hoping that it's going to be, like, super werewolf heavy and you're going to see a bunch of werewolf, like, creature design. What You're not. You're not. I'm not going to say whether or not it's werewolves or not because that really is safe for kind of the end. Um, but you're not going to... It's not going to be... I would... When you have werewolves in the title werewolves within you know that title it very much makes it seem like there's going to be fucking a lot of werewolves in the film right so i just i don't want i want to get everyone's expectations um more realistic with this film this film is very much more a comedy um it has horror to it for sure but i would go more on the thriller side of things but like a comedic thriller um, it feels like improv comedy throughout. Now, this is a based on a video game that I've never played. I didn't even know it was based on a video game until, like, after I would watched it. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know anything about this video game, so I cannot comment on how this compares or what it's like or whatnot. But I'm assuming that the, com that the video game is also kind of silly and fun, like this movie is. Uh, the main girl... I thought was uh, the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt for a second uh, when she came on screen, but it's not. It's somebody else who is very pretty and 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 funny. She, I liked her. I liked her um, overall with the film. You know, it has a very it has a very specific brand of humor, um, and I feel like if you if you like that brand of humor, like if it really lands for you then you're going to love this. Like, it's going to be a comedy that, that, as I said, yes, of course, with any comedy, if you're getting the comedy, if you're getting the humor, you're going to love it. So that's an obvious statement. But this just has a very specific brand of humor. I can't really put my finger on exactly what, but it's quirky. It's very quirky. And if the jokes are landing for you, and this will be, this will be apparent 15, 20 minutes in. So if you're laughing for the first 15 or 20 minutes, you're going to be laughing throughout because the jokes are pretty consistent with how the tone is and, and the kind of style that it is. Unfortunately for me, the jokes didn't land in the way that I would want them to, which would be like, I'm laughing out loud, I'm having a great time. It was more, a lot of them were more like smile laughs. Like I was like, hmm, hmm, that was cute. It was cute you know humor like that where it happens somebody says a joke and you're not like oh god that was stupid that didn't land it's more of the like oh okay i got what you did there that was cute good job golf clap that kind of laugh that's how i was through most of this now was there laughs that actually were genuine that i that i had with certain scenes 
Absolutely, sure. There were a few ones that got me to actually laugh. But the rest were just kind of like, you know, more of a, hmm, an acknowledgement that I could see why they're funny. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? And that's mostly what happened with this. Uh, the characters in this are are good. They're, I don't know, in a film like this, they're exactly what you expect. You know, you've got the kind of archetype characters in a comedy like this. You know, um, I would say the there's a, there's a gay couple, and um, they're one of them is a one of them is a white guy from um, a bunch of Disney movies that my kids watch, like The Descendants and freaking uh, Julie and the Phantoms and whatnot. Uh, and then there, he has a boyfriend or a husband, I can't remember, and he's maybe Mexican or Latin, something like that. Um, and he, to me, was, was really funny. Like, a lot of the stuff he was saying was, was pretty funny. Um, and I also did like the male woman who I thought was uh, Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, I thought she was, she's probably my favorite of the, of the film. Um, everybody else was fine was fine there were, oh and then there's like this redneck couple they have a couple lines that that made me laugh it's just i don't know i think you guys get what i'm saying here it's just the humor was was cute it just didn't do anything more for me than that that being said almost everybody in my facebook group who watched this loved it they all laughed their asses off i watched this with kaylee both of us just sat there the whole time like we kind of looked over each other like yeah, that was cute, you know, when jokes would happen. And then there was a few where we laughed, and, and that was it. And we both kind of ended the film, and we're like, yeah, that was fun. That was cute. That was all right. You know? So, of course, the, the opinion on any film will vary, but um, I, if the jokes are landing for you in the beginning, but it's all about the humor. It's all about the humor. The horror to me is completely, like, irrelevant. I don't, that doesn't matter. And while it's a mystery and all of this, I didn't really care about any of that. Really, at the end of the day, this film's going to try to make you laugh. And if you're laughing, then it's working. If you're not, then it isn't. And that really is the focus of the film. I don't see really almost any focus on the horror elements. Um, and the mystery is fine. It's whatever. But anyways, all right, let me know. Adios. <laughs>